Hi, are you thinking of selling your home and you're at the point where you're trying to decide, gee, should I sell it myself without a real estate agent or should I hire a real estate agent? If that's you right now, this video is for you. Hi, I'm John Wake with realestatedecoded.com and I'm a real estate agent with HomeSmart in Arizona. When I was researching for sale by owners online, I kept running into this quote, this talking point everywhere on real estate agent websites, which said that real estate agents could sell homes on average for 13% more than if you sold it yourself. Sometimes it was 16%, sometimes it was 22% or more. Do you believe that? Do you believe the real estate agent could sell homes for 13% more than you could? I'm an economist by training. I've worked as an economist for years, although I've been a real estate agent for the last 12, and that made no sense to me. Basically, that argument was saying that there's two homes that are molecularly identical next door to each other. The one that was being sold by a real estate agent would sell for 226,000, where the one next door being sold directly by the seller would sell for 200. That was way too much. That was totally beyond what sounded reasonable to me. So if you're at that stage right now where you're trying to decide, should I sell it myself directly or hire a real estate agent? This is a huge question for you because if a real estate agent could actually sell a home for 13% more than you could. Obviously, you would just hire a real estate agent every time. But obviously, it's also true that a lot of people do sell their homes themselves directly from the seller to the buyer and are successful at it and save a lot of money in commissions. So if you're on the bubble trying to decide that, this question is important. How much can a real estate agent sell a home for more than you could? So this talking point that real estate agents can sell homes a lot more than for sale by owners is all over the internet. In fact, I have some quotes on the post that accompanies this that's on uh, realestatedecoded.com. So when I looked into it, I quickly found that the origin of all of these real estate agent claims appear to be a study or a series of annual studies from the National Association of Realtors. And this is what it says. Quote, for sale by owners typically have a lower median selling price of $208,700 compared to $235,000. Thus, the typical agent-assisted home sale typically has a 13% higher sales price than the typical for sale by owner sale. So that's where that idea and that 13% number came from. It's from the National Association of Realtors. But if you look into it, they're really not saying that real estate agents can sell homes for 13% more than uh, for sale by owners. And there's a clue in there, but what they've done in their study is they've included mobile homes, for example. So mobile, why would you include mobile homes in a study like that? But they included mobile homes and manufactured homes and mobile homes and manufactured homes tend to be much, much cheaper, but they also tend to be much, much more likely to be sold directly from the seller for sale by owners. So by having these really cheap homes in the sample size, that tend to be way overrepresented as for sale by owners, that lowers the for sale by owner number. So what the National Association of Realtors report is saying that it's more likely that homes that are inexpensive will be sold as for sale by owners. It's not saying, although they make it sound this way, that real estate agents can sell homes for more than for sale by owners. So we know that real estate agents can't sell homes for 13% more, or at least that evidence doesn't support that, but we don't know what the real number is. So I kept looking and there was a great study I found. It was published in 2007 and they just looked at homes sold in Madison, Wisconsin. They had a great data set. They had all the county data. They had all the MLS data. They even had all of a, a, a FISBO, a for sale by owner websites data. So they had seven years, tons of observations, really good data set and they just looked at single family residents. They didn't throw in mobile homes to skew everything up. So they were doing more like to like. They adjusted homes for the size of the home. They adjusted homes for the bedrooms. They adjusted homes for the neighborhood. So they ended up comparing essentially homes that are similar size, similar homes and similar neighborhoods that were sold with the real estate and without. This was a great study. And so what I expected was that they would find out that homes that were sold by real estate agents were sold for a few percentage points more. But that's not what they found out. They found that there was a 0% difference between for sale by owner and real estate agent homes for similar homes in similar neighborhoods. So the research shows that there's no difference. Now the vast majority of people should use a real estate agent, in my opinion, but not everybody. There's some people who can do perfectly great selling it themselves and save a lot of money but it's a lot more hassle. There's a lot of other problems. There's a huge number of pros and cons, 
But the one talking point that said that real estate can sell your home for more than you can is not accurate. It's very misleading. So just discount that when you're making your decision. So the conclusion is if someone tells you that a real estate agent can sell a home for 13% more than you could, they're selling you. Great. I hope this was useful to you. And if you know anybody who's thinking of selling and you think this video would be useful to them, please send it on to them. And if you haven't subscribed to Real Estate Decoded, please do that. Or you can subscribe on the YouTube channel, John at Real Estate Decoded. And one last thing, if you sold a home for sale by owner, how did that go for you? Could you leave a comment below and say what was good, what was bad, would you do it again? Any tricks to the trade that you could share with other people to help them out? Because I'm sure we'll be getting a lot of people reading the comments and you could share your experience so they can benefit. So I, prom so I promised with a real estate video was going to be geeky. This is a really geeky video. <laughs> and the post is really geeky too. Lots of numbers. But uh, for those numbers people out there, I hope you found it very valuable. Thanks.